Hey, hey, good morning, Inspired Tribe. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Um, and I hope you don't mind. I'm I'm making coffee here. Pour over coffee. It's a good thing. Hey, hey, John Nolan here. We're healthy, we're wealthy, we're whole, we're free. Also, we're pretty much alone. I think people are still asleep. Just wanted to share something with you here uh, while I'm making this coffee. I'm waiting for people to jump on. waiting I'm gonna just pour this coffee here hey good morning how's it going let us know who you are and where you're tuning in from in the live chat it's gonna be a shorty welcome welcome good to see you who is this Linda good to see you it's tiny on the phone hey everyone good morning good morning from Argentina good to see you Hey, 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 good morning, everyone from Kentucky. Hey, from the UK, Canada, UK. Hey, everyone. Howdy, good to see you. Uh, just wanted to come on here while I'm, I'm pouring coffee here. Um, you know, after yesterday's interview that we posted, um, that was with uh, Dane Wigington, you know, geoengineering. And he speaks about what's happening up there and, and, and what's happening with the uh, radars and HARP and all that. And stuff that you all, thankfully, are, you know, to a large extent, very aware of. I mean, this is just, I told Dane, I said, you know, our audience is, uh, they know a lot and they know a lot about a lot of things. And, you know, you, you guys are very much researchers. But the question came up more than once. Why the hell is all of this happening? Why... Why are, are are they spraying the skies and why are they poisoning the earth when they are the ones who need to suffer the consequences just as well? And it's it's a question we all ask ourselves, you know, either because it's not logical and, and either you think, well, perhaps they don't have to suffer the consequences. Perhaps they have a different makeup. Perhaps they're something different or they have a place to go to. You know, all of it might be a possibility. But really, I want to go into a different and, and more empowering question for all of us, just for a moment here. Ultimately, ultimately what we're doing, because we're participating in this craziness, whether we want to admit it or not, we're participating. We're, we're somehow, we're still not able to withdraw enough support from it so it, it, it stops happening or however um, withdraw enough energy. But ultimately, we're doing this for ourselves. We're, we're doing it. So we can finally fully wake up. We're doing it so we can finally fundamentally change things. And I think that's the biggest inspiration I get is we can fundamentally change things. I mean, we can start doing things very differently. We can start right now. And so this to me is is, is the biggest question is, you know, it's not so much why, but what can we do about it? And I think for everyone, it's something different. Listen, when I look at Europe, it's where I grew up. And when I look at Europe and what's going to happen there uh, in the next months, because people have been closing their eyes and simply they didn't, they didn't want to acknowledge these things for such a long time. They just didn't want to. For such a long time, they've been conditioned to trust their governments. And now, I mean, shit's going to hit the fan. I mean, it's going to be very uncomfortable for people that are not used to being uncomfortable. Trust me. Because they're, you know, they have, um, what they've put in motion pretty much, you know, it can't be stopped overnight anymore. And the whole point of it is we can stop it. When I say we, humanity, we can stop it. We can put a stop to everything. If you can remember that we created government, the government can never freaking rule us. They cannot, only if we allow it, but they've been created through us. So they cannot be above us, okay? Now it's happened that they have emancipated themselves, these group, of course, government is just a stand-in for, for these nefarious groups, but they have emancipated and they play the role of the dictator, of the big father, big mother, who gets to decide everything in your life, when they they could not possibly hierarchically have that position because they didn't create mankind. We created government. 
boom, they are beneath us. They have to be beneath us. And now they need to be scared of us. Now they need, we need to scare the shit out of them so they will realize where they stand so we can finally have a, a, a position that works. Now we're, we're, I speak collectively, people are afraid of the government. It needs to be turned around for a good period of time. So everybody who goes into public service respects, really fully respects the people because they know you don't mess around with the people anymore. And so all this, it, it just needs to happen now. And folks, I'm not speaking about violence. Violence is stupid. Violence creates more violence and more violence. There's only one reason uh, one shall use violence, and that's for, for protection. If you're being attacked, well, damn, you got to protect. If you're attacked, you got to protect yourself. you got to end that violence and use all means necessary. Sure, that's the law of nature. But the big why is why this is still happening is because we still haven't made a choice collectively that we can't go on like this and once we do and and people are doing it individually i know you're doing it i know groups are doing it but once we do this on a larger scale things begin to look a lot better because on the other side of this is beauty i mean it's just amazing how when truth prevails and how when we step out of this haze and this fog and this matrix there's something amazing awaiting us and um it's just you know for me, um, it's just time. And the why, again, is because we haven't done it yet. We're ultimately, ultimately, on the biggest scheme, we're creating this whole craziness for our benefit. I know this doesn't sound like it, and I, I'm having a hard time believing it sometimes, but we're creating this whole craziness so we can come to the point again where we realize that um, we're mo something much more different. We're something much more powerful. We have it. We all, we've always had it, we've always had it. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful thing. When those moments that you get, when you get a glimpse through the matrix out of the haze, when you get to see it for what it really is, boy, it's so beautiful. And people, I mean, there's the people that we meet so often are just such beautiful spirits. They have such a wonderful heart. There's so much beautiful to live for. Just saying. Um, I don't want to, you know, I, I, I never, someone said it, Dane said it yesterday, Dane Wigington, the GN engineering interview, he said, you know, I didn't ask for this job. Well, neither did we. Uh, you know, I, 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 I didn't think I, I was going to have to do this. Don't get me wrong. I, I know exactly I need to do this. It's on purpose for me. It feels very much on purpose, but I never asked for this. Um, as a matter of fact, I'd be happy strumming my guitar, um, living very quietly with my family. <laughs> away from society, you know, riding horses and uh, growing food, you know, having a bonfire every night sounds, sounds like a perfect life to me. That's, you know, it's not much more I'm really asking for. But here's the thing. It won't be available for any of us if we don't come together now and change this on a big, big level. It's just the way it is. We need to go all in. We need to all have uh, the courage and the backbone to do it. And whatever it takes, friends, whatever it takes, we got to do it. There's no giving up. All right, just wanted to tune in, share this quickly with you this morning. Now I'm going to drink my coffee. Love you all. I appreciate you. We'll be back with you again soon.